Hello kids! And today we have six games! So let's play our first game! Hello kids! And today we're gonna learn about the shapes and the puzzles! We're gonna solve the squirrel puzzle and the zebra puzzle! Great! So let's start! And first let's take the yellow shape and you can see that this yellow shape has only two holes in it so let's find on the shape board where we can place this yellow shape so here is like one two three four five but we only need two let's count together this one and two it's perfect for our shape so let's place Great, well done. And then let's take other yellow shapes, right? Let's find them. Here is another one, another, and the last one. So we have three of them. One, two, three. Great. Let's take this one and place on our shape board. One, then goes two, and last one three so together we have four shapes one two three and last one four great amazing well done and let's open the first puzzle pieces so here we have this puzzle piece and let's look at the small image can you see yes this is the zebra puzzle piece and this is the corner piece so we should place in the right top corner like this and let's take other puzzle pieces so let's take three one two and three and let's turn around them okay here we have the head of the zebra and we can connect with this puzzle piece with that we just placed like this great and this one is the squirrel puzzle but before we try to combine the puzzle pieces let's complete the zebra and let's find the puzzle pieces that corresponds to that board so let's find them and let's turn around all of them so here is the zebra here is the zebra I think this one also from the zebra puzzle so then let's open others so this one also it's a zebra legs let's open this one it's a zebra face the part of the zebra so we're gonna move here and we have few left that we need to turn around so before we start uh, the puzzle pieces we need to turn around all the puzzles so here is the zebra here uh, I think it's also and this is the tail of zebra. Let's take them together here and let's first the way that we're gonna solve the puzzle is gonna be Finding the corner pieces. So here is the first The second and the third one So Right now. We just need to look at the image and find the flower. Here is the flower in the corner, right? So we take the corner piece puzzle and place it like this then we take the legs of the zebra and we look at the image where the legs of the zebra can you see yes it's in the left bottom corner so we take in place great and the last one we have a tree right in the left top corner we have a tree so let's do it place great amazing and we just found four corner pieces so the next one what we should do would be to find the side pieces right so that's lying on the side so let's take this one and we can see that there is the small part of the dirt and the rock so let's connect great let's take another one puzzle piece which will be this one and you can see there is the empty space for this let's try to connect them together great we've completed the bottom side of the puzzle so we need to find this one and we need a tree mm. can you see yes it's this one 
so let's try it great well done and the next one gonna be again the tree but on the top and here's the part of the tail right so let's take wood great and the last one side puzzle piece gonna be the face here's the face of the zebra let's take it and amazing and we just need two middle pieces so let's try maybe this one because here's the part of the tail that what we need and then let's put like this great and let's take another one so here is the neck of the zebra and yes we've completed the zebra really quickly good job and let's continue with our shapes so the next one that we're gonna take gonna be the orange shape and it only has one hole and if you look at the shape board there is only one place where we can do it so let's count one two three and the last one four great we've completed the shape and let's take another so we need three holes so one two and three so let's try to find them so here are how many holes this one has this one has four holes one two three and four so we don't need this so this one how many holes it has one two three four and five but we need three so the last one would be this one so let's count together one two and three and yes this is what we need so we need to turn around a bit and let's do it together one count two three and the last one four great well done so let's continue with our puzzle and the next puzzle that we have is the squirrel puzzle okay and let's try to find all the puzzle pieces so here are all puzzle pieces let's take them let's move them here and let's start with the corner puzzle pieces so here is the one corner puzzle piece here is another one third one and the last one we need four yes so here we can see that this is the grass and this is the sky and apples so we're gonna move the grass here like this and the sky at the top like this so if we look at the image on the left corner we have apples and on the right we have a part of the tail and the tree or the bush right and at the bottom we have the baby squirrel and on the left we have a fire camp great so then let's continue with trying to find the side puzzle pieces so here is the part of the fire camp and we can connect with the pu this puzzle piece and the next one we need the small part of the rock see so let's take it and here's the small part of the rock let's try to combine them great and here is the tail of the baby squirrel so let's take the tail and here's the big tail of the mama squirrel great let's take the next one so we need a part of the tree and here is the part of the tree so let's connect together great and then let's move to the top so we need a part of the tail and it should be the side piece so this is this one great and we need a part of the face of the squirrel so maybe let's try this one amazing and we need only two pieces in the middle with the fire camp and with the body of the squirrel so here is the where we see the fire and here is the face of squirrel and here is the face of squirrel so let's try great well done so then let's take this one turn around and great amazing we've completed two puzzle pieces we've completed the squirrel puzzle piece and the zebra puzzle piece so let's move to our shapes so we left only few of them we have blue shape and the red shape so let's take the blue shape how many holes it has one two three four okay and we need four poles so one two 
three and four. So let's count. One, two, three, and the last one, four. Okay, great, amazing. And we only left with a red shape that has one, two, three, four, five holes. And we only have only one place where we can do it, where we can put our red shape. So let's count. One, two, three, and the last one, four. Great. So we found the red shape, we found the blue shape, we found the green shape, we found the yellow shape, and the orange shape. So orange shape has one hole, so yellow shape has two holes, one and two. Green shape has three holes, so one, two, three. The blue shape has four holes, one, two, three, and four. And the red shape has five holes, one, two, three, four, and five. Great. Well done, we've completed all puzzles really quickly. I see you in the next video. That was amazing! And our next game is game number two. So let's start! Hello kids, and today we're gonna solve the snake puzzle. And look how happy snake is! Let's mix these puzzle pieces. And what we're gonna do first, the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate each puzzle piece and try to find the part of the snake. So here you see there is the part of the snake, right? And when we found this, then we're gonna place it right here. Okay, so let's do with the next one. So let's rotate and turn around and see if there is some kind of part of the snake. Is this a part of the snake? What do you think? Yes, okay, let's take this. And we're gonna take this here, then take another one and rotate and see if there is any part of the snake that we can take. So we're gonna rotate slowly. Hmm. This seems to me like a part of the snake. Let's ask Mr. Pig. Mr. Pig, what do you think? Yes. So we're gonna take this to our puzzle board. And then the next one. Okay, let's try to see if there is any part of the snake. And if you see the part of the snake, then let me know. Just say, I see it. Is this a snake? Yes, it's a snake. Let's take here, and then another one. Let's rotate and see if there is the snake. Hmm, can you spot the snake? Where is the snake? Yes, here is the snake, great. So let's take that, amazing. And then another one. Let's rotate and see if there is the blue color. Blue color. Is this a blue color to you? What do you think? Yes, let's take this one and place it here. We only left with three ones. So let's take another one and rotate. And if you see the blue color or snake, then let me know, okay? If you see, then let me know. If this is snake, yes, it's another part of the snake. And here we have two left. So let's rotate and see if there is the snake. Is this a snake part? Yes, it's a snake part. Great. And the last one, which is gonna rotate slowly. And when you see any part of the snake, maybe blue color, maybe face or something, then let me know, okay? Hmm, this doesn't seem to have any snake part, but this one, if we look at this tree, it seems to be from this part. Let's try, yes, 
So we're gonna take this puzzle to all our puzzle pieces. Okay, so right now we have puzzles. And if you look closely, then every puzzle piece has the blue color, right? So we're gonna start with the face of the snake. So here is this face, the eyes and the mouth. So here is the neck of the face, you see? Okay, so let's continue. So let's take the bottom part and combine like this. So we just combined three puzzle pieces, right? So we need to find the puzzle pieces on this side and on this side. So we also have the trees. Here is the trees, right? So let's try to take this part of the tree and combine with this one, like this, and great. Okay, and then take these two parts and try to move it to the left side. Well done. And let's do the same with two other parts of the trees. Here is the part of the tree and here is another part. So let's combine them together. Yes, well done. And then let's take them here and move to the right. Great, amazing. And then we have the left part and the right part. So we're gonna place the left part here and the right part down here. Great, we've completed the snake puzzle. See you in the next video. Great, well done. And here we have game number three. Let's go. And today we're going to learn about the numbers, about the colors. We're also going to solve our puzzle with the police officer, the dog. And we're also going to find the puzzle pieces for the plane. And you can already see that one puzzle piece just went off. But that's okay. Let's start. And we have beautiful crayons. So let's start. Oh, where did the numbers go? And the puzzles and the airplane. Hmm, let's think. And you can see we have a lot of crayons. Huh, ah, maybe let's open our first crayon. And the first crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the green crayon. So let's do it. Let's shake it. Let's open it. Wow, look how many things we have. We have the numbers, the puzzle piece, and the puzzle piece from the airplane. And we also have another number. So let's start with a puzzle piece. And let's take this puzzle piece and look at this puzzle board, where we can place this part of the car. And it's a back part of the car. Let's think. I think we should place it like this. Great. Let's look at those numbers. And we have number 10 and numbers 1. Okay, let's think where we can place the number 10. And let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and yes, 10. And it's a 10 green color. Great, and we have number 1 yellow color. So let's think where we can place. Hmm. I think it should go here because it starts with one. One, two, three, four. Great. We found two numbers. And we also have the part of the air airplane. And I think it's a wing. Let's look at this image. Hmm. And where we can place. Let's again look at the shape. And I think it could go maybe here. Let's leave it like this and later we can change let's look at those crayons hmm which next one we should open let's maybe take the pink one great and let's shake it and open it wow we have the number the puzzle piece and the piece from airplane okay let's start with the number and here we have the number two and let's think where we can place it. Let's count one and two. And you can see it's a, also like a flower shape. 
and it's green color. So we're gonna place it here. Great. And here we have the body of the airplane. And you can see we have windows. Let's think where we can place it. Hmm, I think it should go somewhere here. But you can see our wing doesn't go here well. So maybe let's rearrange and maybe let's turn around like this and take this wing and place it like this. Wow, great, it worked. Wow, amazing. And let's take the puzzle piece for the police car. And here you can see we have a traffic lights. We have a green color, a yellow, and we also have the part of the police car. Let's think where we can place. And I think it should go under the sun, like this. Great. Let's continue with our puzzle adventure. And the next crayon that we're gonna pick, gonna be the yellow crayon. Let's shake. Wow, we have a lot of things here. And let's look at the numbers first. And we have three numbers. We have number three. And let's think where we can put the number three on this board. Let's count. One, two, three. Okay, great. And it is red color. Let's look at this number. This is number four. Let's think where we can place on the board. Let's count. One, two, three. Three, four, amazing. And we have the mighty number 12. And let's think and count where we can place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Great. And let's take the puzzle piece and let's turn around. And here we have the wheel of the police car. And we have two wheels, but where we should place it? Here you can also see we have a part of the checkboard. Okay, let's maybe combine like this. These two puzzles. Great! We combine two puzzles. Amazing! And let's look at the airplane. And here we have a cabin where the pilot is sitting. And let's try to place it on this board. Hmm, maybe here? Seems to be it should go here, it should fit here. Great, let's leave it like this. And let's continue with our puzzle journey. And let's pick the orange color. Let's shake it and open it. Wow, we have numbers. And let's go for the numbers. So here we have the number it is six or it is nine. I think it's number nine and it's yellow color. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. And here we have number 11. Red color. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, great, and let's take this puzzle and turn around, and here we have the funny police car dog, and you can see on the image, and you can see the sunglasses of the police car dog, so we can place it right here, like this, and we have also the cloud on the top, great. We're doing so well. And let's take the wing. And I think it's a wing of the airplane. So let's put it here. I think it's gonna fit. Yes! And we have two stars on the wings. Great! Let's continue. And we almost are finished with our puzzles. You're doing amazing. Let's take the blue crayon and let's shake. Okay. Here we only have puzzles and numbers. So let's start with a number. And here we have blue color number and it's called number eight. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and yes, eight, correct. 
And here we have the part of the police car wheel. And I think it should go here. Let's try. No, I think it's the second wheel. Yes, great. And let's look at this one. Here we have the symbol of the police. And it's a shield, the yellow shield with a red star. So let's think where we can fit it. And I think it should go right in the middle. Let's try together. And maybe let's do like this. Like this. Let's start from the here and then place it. Okay, we almost got it. We just need to take this part, place it like this, and then, yes, we combined all of those puzzles. Great. And let's look at those two crayons. And we only have two left. We have red color crayon and brown color crayon. Which should we open? And I think we should open the brown color crayon. Let's open. Wow, look what we have here. And here we have number seven. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you can see it's a red color and it's a shape of the star. And let's look at this number. It's number five. Let's count. One, two, three, four, and five. And it's a yellow color shape. Let's look at those puzzle pieces. And here we have wheel. And we have another part of the wheel. So if we look at this puzzle board, we can see that there is two wheels and we need to connect them like this. Great. And we have also another puzzle piece. And you see it's a windows of the house where the people live. Okay, let's try to place. Here we have a sun and a traffic light. And here we have the windows where the people live. So let's place like this. Great. And here we have the propeller of the airplane. And let's see. And it's really small compared to the tail. So I think it should go front like this. Great! And we're left with our last crayon. And it's a red color crayon. Let's shake it and open it. Wow! We have the puzzle piece, the number, and the airplane puzzle piece. Okay, let's start with the number. And it's a heart shape. You can see it looks like a heart. And it's a number six. And it's a green color. So let's start. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Great. And let's look at this puzzle piece. And here we have the sun. And let's look where we can place it. We have the sun and the traffic light. And I think you should go here because it's the last place where we can fit it. Like this. Great. And we have the tail of the airplane. And it's an orange color. And here is the last place where we can fit it. Let's do it. Yes, great. We've completed all our puzzles. We've completed the clock puzzle. We've completed the airplane puzzle. We've completed the police dog puzzle. But let's go back to the clock puzzle and let's learn about the clock. So we have here the 12 o'clock. Here we have one o'clock. Here, we have two o'clock, and this is called three o'clock, and this one is called four o'clock, and this one is called five o'clock, and this one is called six o'clock, and this one, yes, it's seven o'clock, you're right, great, and this one is called eight o'clock, and this one, remember, yes, it's nine numbers, so it's called nine o'clock let's turn around again and this one is called yes ten o'clock and this one yes it's a 11 number so it's called 11 o'clock and the last one is 12 o'clock great and we have here the yellow color here we have green color here we have 
red color, here we have blue color, and this one, you know it, yes, it's a yellow color. This one is green color, correct. And this one, what is this color? It's a red color. Let's look at the eight, and this one is blue color. And number nine, what color it is? It's the same color as the five. Yes, it's yellow color. And let's look at the 10. Which color it is? Let's look at the 2 and 6. It's the same color. It's green color. And this one, 11. Let's look. Okay, it's the same color as 7, 3, 11. It's red color. And the last one is blue color. Great, and you can see that Minnie and Mickey Mouse are pretty happy with the work that we've done. Great, amazing. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Amazing, we just completed the game number three. And here we have game number four. It's time to play and solve it. Let's go. Hello kids, and today we're gonna play the puzzle and we're gonna try to solve it and look who we have we have mr pig that's gonna help us to solve this kangaroo puzzle so let's start first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna mix those puzzles right so we have this okay so to complete this puzzle first thing that we need we need to take the cube Let's say this one, and we need to rotate till we see that maybe the leg of kangaroo, maybe the face of kangaroo, right? So some kind of the part of the kangaroo. So for example, this one, here we have the foot of the kangaroo. Great. So let's take the next one. Okay, and let's rotate and see what we have here, right? So let's look for that. Hmm. And we have here the belly of the kangaroo great so we are not gonna try right now to combine those puzzles together we're just gonna try to find them so this is the first th that we found so let's go with the next one okay so hmm, is this a kangaroo what do you think hmm, i think no is this a kangaroo no mr pig what do you think Mm, is this maybe the part of the kangaroo that we need? Yes! Great! So let's take this puzzle piece and let's move it right here on the side. And let's continue with the next one. And let's rotate these puzzle pieces and see if we can find the kangaroo. And if we can't find the kangaroo, then we're gonna ask the Mr. Pig to help us. Mm, this seems to be pretty difficult to find. Where's the kangaroo? Mm, maybe this is the part of the kangaroo puzzle. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Yes, great. Let's take this. And next one, Mr. Pig gonna help us. Okay. Which one? This one, Mr. Pig? Yes, we found another one puzzle piece. Amazing. So we already found one, two, three four and five great and let's take the next one and what we have here hmm let's try to find the kangaroo okay this is the baby kangaroo right so it goes to our puzzle pile and let's and we only left with three ones that we need to examine so we need to rotate them and see if there is the kangaroo hmm who is that is this a kangaroo mama? Yes, this is kangaroo mama. Correct. Great. And let's take the next one and see. Hmm. Is this a ear of the kangaroo mama? What do you think, guys? Yes, right. Let's take this to our puzzles. And we have the last one. Hmm. And Mr. Pig, what do you think of the last one? Where is the kangaroo puzzle? This one, great. So we're gonna take this one to our puzzle board. And what we have here is the puzzle pieces of the kangaroo. So what we're gonna do 
we're gonna start with the face right so the next one we're gonna see there is the neck right so we need to connect face with the neck so let's do it great we just connected two puzzle pieces and after this we have the ear and here we have the ear right so what we're gonna do we're gonna take this together and connect like this amazing and then let's take the next one hmm which one we should take i think it could be this one so here is the baby kangaroo and here is the belly right it's called like a pocket great and what we can do next is the legs the foot right so we have the left foot and the right foot so let's combine like this amazing and the next one again mm, it's a i think it's a leg yes and here is the tree house and here is the bird and i think it's from the tree house let's try it yes amazing and we have the last one and where do you think we should place the last one yes exactly we should place the last one right here so here we have the tail of the kangaroo and here is the left leg left foot right foot and right leg here is the baby kangaroo the mama kangaroo the bird and the house and the house of the kangaroos great well done see you in the next video Congratulations, we just completed the game four. And here we have our game five. Let's start. And today we're gonna learn about the animals. Look how many animals we have here. We have giraffe, we have bear that's holding the bee. We have elephant, we have crocodile. We have horse, we have monkey. And we have Rhino, and we also have the Hedgehog puzzle that we're gonna solve. Let's start! Okay, so let's start with finding the Hedgehog. And we have the Mr. Pig, who's gonna help us. Okay, so let's take this cube and rotate and see if there is the Hedgehog, or maybe the part of the Hedgehog. And if we can't find Mr. Pig, is always gonna help us. Okay. Hmm. Does it seem to you that this is the part of the hedgehog? <laughs> yes, Mr. Pig saying. Okay, we found our first piece. Let's go with the second one. And let's rotate and see if there is the hedgehog. Or maybe the part of the hedgehog. If you see, then please let me know great let's try to find mm, where it could be and mm, is this a part of the hedgehog mr pig yes we found another puzzle piece we already found two of them let's continue with the next one so the next one gonna be this one okay and let's try to find and rotate can you see the hedgehog let me know if you see the hedgehog let's rotate this way and if you see the hedgehog then tell me please here we have the hedgehog great we found another puzzle piece amazing okay let's take this one and rotate we always should start by rotating the cube and see the all the images before we decide to take it is this a hedgehog yes it's a hedgehog great let's take this and another one we have here okay where is the hedgehog we need a violet color right where is the hedgehog Oh, here is the hedgehog, great! Another puzzle piece. And let's take this one and rotate. And where is the hedgehog? The hedgehog also is holding the apple. So where it could be? Hmm, Mr. Pig, is this a hedgehog? Yes, this is the part of the hedgehog. So here is the apple. 
and the part of the hedgehog. Great. So the next one. Let's rotate and see if there is the apples. We need to find the apples. Where they could be. Hmm. This is the apples, but they are small. We need a big one. Yes, this is the big one's apples. Great. Let's take, because this is the part of the hedgehog puzzle. We only left with two puzzle pieces. So, what we have here? We need the hedgehog, the body of the hedgehog. Right, where is the hedgehog? Can you tell me? And yes, here it is. Great. Is this a hedgehog, Mr. Pig? <laughs> yes, great. So, the next one. And the last one. We need a hedgehog with apples. Where is the hedgehog? Let me know where it is. And here is the apples and the hedgehog. Great. Let's take this. We found all the puzzle pieces for our puzzle. Okay, let's start to combine them. And here is the face of the hedgehog and the apple. So the next one gonna be hmm, where we should start. It's gonna be this one, the ear of the hedgehog and the hair. Great, and here is the apple. Great, let's take our apples here and combine. We're doing really good. And slowly, always, let's do it slowly. Like this, and great, it's coming out really good. So here's another puzzle piece. Here is the face of the hedgehog. Great. And here is another hedgehog part. And the last one. Let's try it. And yes, we've completed the hedgehog puzzle. Great. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Mr. Pig. So the next puzzle that we have was the animal puzzle. Great. So let's do it. So let's pick this one. So who is that? It's a crocodile. Okay, and where is the crocodile? Can you see the crocodile here? Where is the crocodile? Right, it is here. Great. We found our first animal. And next one, let's maybe try this one. And who is that? That's holding the bee, right? It's a happy bee bear. Great. Let's take our bear and place it to this shape. Great. So we need to find the elephant. Where is the elephant? Let's open this one. Is this an elephant? No, this is giraffe. Okay. Is this an elephant? No, this is the horse. Okay, is this an elephant? Let's rotate. Yes, this is the elephant. Great, let's place it here. We found our third animal. So let's try to find giraffe. Is this a giraffe? No, it's a monkey, the happy monkey. Okay, where is the giraffe? Is this a giraffe? No, it's a horse. Is this a giraffe? No, it's a rhino. Okay, maybe this one is a giraffe. Let's turn around and who is that? It's a giraffe, great. Giraffe is going this place and great. You're doing amazing. So we've got the next one gonna be the horse. Let's try to pick our shapes. So, is this a horse? No, it's a rhino. Is this a horse? No, it's a monkey. Okay, so we have this one puzzle piece. Let's open on one, two, and three. Who is that? It's a horse. Great, the horse coming here. Well done, correct. So, let's try to find the monkey. And we only left with two puzzle pieces. With this one and this one. So, it's a left and right. Which one should we pick? 
Okay, let's do the right one and turn around. And who is that with the tail? Who is this? Remember? This is right. This is the rhino. Okay. And who is this? Yes, this is the monkey. The animal of the jungle. And where the monkey is going? Yes, the monkey is going to its place. Like this. Great. So, the next one is the rhino. Well done. We found the rhino. And where the rhino gonna go? Let's see. Rhino is trying to find his place. And yes, we've completed the animal puzzle. So, we found the giraffe. You see, the yellow with orange giraffe. Then we found the bear with the bee holding the bee. Great. The next one is the elephant. The gray color, right? With the big ears. And this one is horse. Let's say it together. Horse. Great. And after the horse we have... Who is that? You know the name? It's monkey. Well done. Correct. So monkey have a really long tail. Amazing. And the last one, you can see this animal in the zoo. Who is that? You know the name. Let's say it together. One, two, three. Rhino. Great. Congratulations. We've completed the animal puzzle. And we also completed the hedgehog puzzle. Well done. We've completed two puzzles. You're doing amazing see you in the next video yay that was great and the next game our last one it's game number six so let's prepare ourselves and let's go and today we're gonna learn about the farm animals and the savannah animals and we're also going to learn about the numbers and learn how to count them. So let's start. Oh, where did they go? And we need to find the farm animals and the wild animals. And we also need to find the numbers. And we have colorful crayons. So let's pick the pink crayon and let's open. Okay. And... Okay, here we have two animals and the number. So let's go for the animals. And here we have a pig. And is it pig the farm animal or the wild animal? Let's look around. So here is the farm animals and here is the wild animals. And where should we place the pig? Yes, the pig is the farm animal. So we need to place it Let's find the shape. Here is the shape of the pig. So let's fit here. Great. And let's look at the next animal. So who we have here is a rooster. Great. And is a rooster a farm animal or the wild animal? Should we place it on this board or on this board? Okay. So the rooster is farm animal and let's find the same shape so here we have a big tail and maybe we can try to place it here so let's try here no it doesn't go here well so we need to find another place and i think it could be this one but maybe we can try like this no you can see here is the part of the leg so if we're gonna turn around and do this great we found the rooster. So then let's go through the number. And here we have the number six. Great. And let's look at the number board and where we can place the number six. Can you see? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great. And we also have six wheels. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. 
six. Amazing, we found our first number and two farm animals. Let's continue by opening the next crayons. So let's take the brown one and let's shake it. And okay, we have here a lot of wheels and also the animals. So let's start with the animals. So we have here mama elephant and baby elephant. And where we should place uh, the elephants? Should we place on the wild animal board or on farm animal board? Where do you think we should? And yes, right, we should place on the wild animal board. Okay, and where we should fit them? Let's look at this shape. It's really long and huge. So here is this place for that two elephants so let's place great well done and let's look at the next one so who we have here it's a giraffe and is a giraffe the wild animal or the farm animal do you think it's the farm or the wild one correct you're right the giraffe is wild animal so let's place this wild animal in the corresponding shape so here is the shape of the giraffe here and well done congratulations and we also have the sheep and where and is the sheep the farm animal or the wild animal what do you think correct the sheep is the farm animal so let's find the correct shape Maybe let's try it here. No, doesn't go here well. And maybe let's try this shape. And yes, well done. Let's continue with our numbers. So here we have the number 10. And it's a violet color. So let's look at the number board and see where we can place the number 10. Can you see? Yes, we can place it here at the end of the number board, like this. Great. And we also have 10 wheels that we can put here. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one. 10. Amazing. Good job. And the next, we're gonna open the blue, yellow, green, orange, and red. And which one we should open? Which one do you think? Let's open the yellow one. Let's take the crayon and let's shake. Oh, so many animals here we have in that crayon. So let's go through the animals. We have four animals here. So let's take this animal. And here we have the rabbit. And let's look at the two boards where we should place the rabbit. On the farm animal side or on a wild animal side? Should it go here or here? Correct, it should go on a farm animal. And where we should place, you see the rabbit is pretty small. So there is only one place for the rabbit here. Great. Let's continue with other animals. And here we have another animal. And who do you think it is? It is bull. Great. And where we should take the bull? To the farm anim animal or to the wild animal? Let's look again. Here or here? Yes, we should place the bull on the farm animal side. And let's find the place. Should we do it here? No, we can't. So let's try to use this shape. And great, amazing. And then the next one, let's turn around. And who we have here? You know it. It's a monkey. And let's look at two boards. Is it wild animal or is it farm animal? Let's look and think. Should it go here or 
here. Yes, the monkey should go in a wild animal world. Where should we place the monkey? Yes, it should go here. Nice, beautiful. And then let's take the next one. Who we have here? It's called Yak. And where does the Yak live? In Savannah. Okay, so the Yak is wild animal. Okay, where should we place the Yak? Let's find the correct shape. And can you see it? Yes, it's this one. Great. Well done. And let's continue with the number. Here we have the number three. And it is yellow color. Okay, so let's look at the numbers board. Where we should place the number three. Can you see? And yes, here. Great. And let's count together. One, two, and three. And let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the orange one. Let's take and shake it. Well done. And let's look what we have here. We have three animals and the numbers. So let's start with the animals. Let's turn around this one. And who we have here? The yellow animal who lives in the savannah. It's called leopard. And the leopard is wild animal. So we need to place it on the wild board, right? And the leopard gonna go, which shape should we pick? Do you know? Yes, it's this one. We should pick this one. Great. Beautiful. And then let's take the next shape. Let's turn around. Who we have here? You know the name of that animal for sure. It's a lion. Great. And the king of the jungle. So let's think where we can put the lion. On a wild animal board or on a farm animal board? Which one? Yes, right. On a wild animal board. And there is one place for the lion and it is, can you see? Yes, it is here. Well done. And let's take the another animal. And who we have here? It's called ram. Okay, and ram is the farm animal or the wild animal? Let's decide. Should we place here or here? Yes, correct. The ram is farm animal. And here is the place for the ram. Let's put here. Great, amazing. And let's look at those numbers. So here we have the number seven. And let's look at the number board. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And let's put our wheels. One, Two, three, four, five, next one, six, and the last one, seven. Amazing. And let's look at the next number. And this is number nine. Okay. And it's a pink color, right? Let's look at the board. Where we can place the number nine? Can you see? Yes, we can place the number nine here. Great. And let's took the wheels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one. Yes, nine. We've completed almost the number board, the farm animal board, and the wild animal board. And we have left with three beautiful crayons. We have the blue crayon, the green crayon, and the red crayon. Let's take the red one and shake it, and then open. Okay, we have here three animals, and this is called zebra. And where does zebra live? 
Yes, in the savannah. So let's take the zebra and place in the same kind of shape, you know? So let's put here. Great, well done. And the next one animal that we're gonna open gonna be cow. And where you should place the cow on the wild animal board or on the farm animal board? Where should, should you place here or here? Yes, you're right. We should put the cow on a farm animal board. So here is the place for the cow. Let's try. Great, well done. And let's take the next one. Who we have here? Okay, this is the duck. It's a small animal, but is it duck the farm animal or the wild animal? Yes, the duck is the farm animal. So here is the place for the duck. Let's try. Great, amazing. And then let's look at the numbers. So here we have number two and it's a red color. Let's look at the number board. Here is one and this one is called two. And we also have two wheels, great. We have one and two, amazing. And then let's look at this number. This is number one and it's also red color. So let's take the number one and place it at the beginning of the counting, right? So one, two, so one is always first. And then let's place our wheel like this. Great, we almost completed two animal boards and the number boards and we only left with two crayons. So let's pick the green crayon. Let's shake. And what we have here? Here we have the savanna tree. And where does the savanna tree grows? It grows in savanna. So the savanna tree is the wild tree. So we need to place that tree. It's not an animal, it's a tree. So here is the place for the savanna tree. Let's try. Great, well done. And then let's look at this animal. Who is that? You know it? It is goat with a bell, right? And the goat is smiling. So is it the wild animal or the farm animal? Let's decide where should it go? Yes, it is farm animal. And we only have three empty places left. So we need to fit this goat in. Can you see? Yes, here's the place for the goat. Great, amazing. And let's take the next one. So who we have here? It's called rhino. So the rhino is wild animal. Great, and here we have the wild animal board. Here is the last empty space for the animal. And I think it's for the rhino. Let's try. Amazing, beautiful. And then let's take the next animal. And who we have here? Here we have turkey. Great, and turkey is, let's look at the board. So we already completed the wild animal board. So this is, is the farm animal. So here is the place for the turkey. Okay, let's do it. Great, amazing. And then let's learn about the number. So this is number four and it's a green color number. So let's count together. One, two, three and four. Amazing. And let's take the wheels. One, two, three, and four. Well done, we almost completed, but we already completed the wild animal board and we only left with the last crayon and it is blue one. Okay, so here we have two animals. 
This one is called Donkey and it's a farm animal. And let's look at our farm animal board. Where we can put the donkey? Where is the space for the donkey? Yes, here is the space for the donkey. Let's do it together. Great! Beautiful. And then let's take the next one. And it is called, you know it, it is goose. And let's take the goose to the farm animal board. And here's the last space for the goose. Yes. Well done. Congratulations. We've completed the farm animal board and the wild animal board. So we just need to complete the number board. So let's learn about the numbers. So this is number five, right? And the number five is blue color. So let's place on the number board. Here is the space and the shape for the five, like this. And let's put the wheels. One, two, three, four, and last one, five. Amazing. And let's look at this number. This is number eight. And it's also the blue color. So where we can where we should place the number eight? You see there is only one spot left here after the number seven. So let's do it here. Great. And let's take the wheels and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one, eight. Amazing. So we completed the farm animal board. So this is cow, this is rabbit, this is rooster, this one is goat, this one is sheep, this one is goose, this one is ram, this one is dog, bull, pig, donkey, and turkey. And on a wild animal board we have leopard, monkey, lion, rhino, zebra, yak, elephant, so mama elephant and baby elephant savannah tree and giraffe great and let's look at the number board and let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine and the last one ten well done we've completed all the boards see you in the next video yes you've completed all games well done see you in the next video thank you kids bye see you next time don't forget to subscribe